Hi and welcome to Outwell and to our Belize Reef Caravan awning which is from our Imperial Collection. This is a 4 metre wide awning, it's 3.4 metres deep and it will fit caravans between 2.4 metres and 2.55 metres in height. So I think the first thing that I need to talk to you about here is the frame that we're using uh, on this awning. So this is our Smart Air uh, awning, so what we actually have in place of traditional steel fiberglass or carbon uh, frames is an inflatable frame. So we have two main tubes that run uh, across the way on this awning and these are all interconnected with uh, tubes on the inside. And what that means is the whole thing can be inflated from one single plug-in point for the pump. What it also means then is it's really quick and easy to inflate and it's also quick and easy to deflate. So we will show you uh, the pump and the valves uh, where you inflate and deflate the awning now. So we do supply the awning with this pump here. Now it's a two-way double action hand pump. So the two-way and double action part just means that every time you pull the lever up and push down, you are inflating the tubes uh, in the awning. So it's quick and easy to do. The pump also then has a pressure gauge, which is just at the top here. So you can keep an eye on the pressure of the awning when you're inflating it. Uh, we would recommend inflating this up to 7 PSI, which represents 0 0.5 bar. Um, in terms of the plug-in point, so as I mentioned, there is only one single valve here. Um, so just here, you'll see it quite clearly says air in, and this is where we would attach the pump. So underneath here, we have a one-way valve. So if I just spin this round, then we'll see that even though I'm opening up the valve, no air is escaping from here and that's because it is the one-way valve. So quite simply, we just need to attach the pump in here when we go to inflate it. Underneath this particular valve, if I just replace that, what we'll see is the air out valve. Now, there is actually one of these for each main tube on the awning, which allows for quick and easy deflation. All we have to do is just turn this to the open position and the air will come out from here. So next, I'll talk to you about the material that we're using on here. So this is our Outex 6000 HD, and the HD stands for high density because this is a 300 denier uh, material. The type of material that we're using on here is a Taslon polyester, so it has a real durable feel to it. And it is indeed durable, so it's uh, more durable than standard sort of polyester because of the Taslon uh, aspect, which just means it's going to last for a good long time, of course, under UV degradation or sunlight. We tape all of the seams throughout the awning and we also have a full PU coating throughout as well. And that's what gives it a hydrostatic head of 6,000 millimetres. So it is totally waterproof as well. So next, I'll just highlight that we have large windows all the way around the awning here, but these are all tinted windows. So they serve two key functions. One of which is to reduce the amount of glare from the sunshine inside the tent, just keeping you a bit more comfortable. And the second is, of course, to give you much better privacy within there as well. So next, uh, I'll just highlight to you that we then have this full rain safe canopy on the front of the awning here, and that's in place using this alloy pole, which just easily attaches in here. And then of course goes through the pole sleeve into the same on the opposite side. Now, the great thing here is that the alloy pole is nice and lightweight, but still very strong indeed. We then also have our uh, storm guy lines on the front here. So good quality, thick uh, strapping on here to ensure that the awning is gonna be secure under high wind. And there is also guy lines on the side as well. Now, of course, these you can see are nice and brightly coloured, so hopefully you won't trip over them quite as easily when it's a bit darker outside. So next, I think what's quite an important point to talk about is the front of this awning. It has quite a few features that I think are very much worth highlighting. So I've already mentioned here, we have this rain safe entrance. Now, what that allows us to do is have this vertical door to the front of the awning, which of course gives much better usable space inside the awning itself. Now, a really neat feature on the front here is that this door actually has a four-way zipper on it. So you can choose which way to open the door. Of course, we've opened it here, but it can be opened from the other side as well. Now, the whole outside door can be rolled away completely to either side because of those four zippers. But a great feature is that just behind this door, we actually have a secondary door which is made from this mesh material here. So that is, of course, going to su um, supply the awning with uh, a lot of fresh air keep you nice and cool and comfortable. So if you are away in a warmer climate or if the weather is just good, then you're gonna get great ventilation from here and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. 
Uh, the <laughs> mesh and the front door have the same features, so they both have a four-way zipper, so the same applies for that mesh door. No matter how you want this set up, the options are pretty endless because you have these zippers. So next, what we'll do is we'll jump into the awning and talk you through some of the features there. So now that we're inside the awning, I just want to highlight to you the frame that we mentioned earlier on. So this is our smart air system where we're utilizing our advanced air tube system. So this is where all of these tubes are all interconnected on the inside. And as I said earlier on, that allows for really quick and easy inflation and deflation. Now something I do want to highlight to you is the fact that all of these tubes have these isolation valves like this one here. So what we can do is we can simply just spin this round into position like this and that then separates each uh, tube within here. You will find that there is a, another one here and another one the further back we go. So what that means is once they're all isolated that if in the unlikely event of something going wrong, uh, what will happen is the whole awning wouldn't drop down, it would just affect one individual tube. So just while we're here, I'll also highlight that we have a uh, lantern hanging point in the middle of the tent. So if you are using an electric light or lamp, then this is a great place for it. And what you'll find is running away from that on either side, uh, we have cable tidies to keep that cable nice and easily stowed away. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is the ground sheet that is in this awning. What we have here is actually a fully sealed ground sheet. Uh, so this is going to stop drafts from coming in. It's going to stop things like dirt, dust and sand and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. You just notice down here that it actually does come up at the sides, which is what stops everything that I've just mentioned there. So this is where you're not going to have drafts coming in. Now, of course, there are certain campsites uh, around that will not allow ground sheets on grass, or if uh, they do, then they need to be breathable ground sheets. But this is actually a totally waterproof ground sheet, so the benefits are quite obvious there. However, if you are on one of these campsites where you can't use a ground sheet, or if you just don't want to use a ground sheet, then that's not a problem because this ground sheet will actually zip out completely. So you can see here that there is a zipper that runs along here that we can just open up quite simply to remove this entire ground sheet. And we've just left this strap here just to show you that when you take out the ground sheet, the awning will still keep its shape. But when the ground sheet is in, you actually don't need to use that strap. So the ground sheet itself also, you'll see here, comes up at the side of the door. But again, because you have this zipper here, what we could do if you wanted to was just unzip it both sides and then flatten this down. And there are pegging points on both sides there as well. So as I mentioned earlier on, there are certainly are plenty of large windows around the awning, allowing enough light in here to feel nice and spacious. If you do want a little bit more privacy, you'll find that every single window around us has its own curtain. So at the moment, of course, it's just rolled away. Um, but with it being a zipped curtain on either side here, we can actually zip this up to the preferred level, either for privacy or to keep out any bright sunlight that's coming into the awning. So to ensure a good, secure fastening to the caravan, we do supply the awning with two upright steel poles for the back area just here. Now these are actually pre-angled poles, uh, so they actually curve at the top here and they go into a pocket up in the top corner just beside this ventilation here. But then what we have are these good quality strong Velcro loops which hold the pole in place onto what is a padded piece of material so that if the awning is moving around in the wind, then of course your caravan is going to be very well protected. So something else I'll point out here is the fact that there are two side entrances to the awning as well, and these also feature full zip-in mesh doors as well. So these just zip into place, again, allowing great ventilation, particularly with the use of that large front door, uh, which is obviously going to keep you more cool and comfortable, but again, hopefully keep out those unwanted creepy crawlies as well. Uh, we also supply the awning with the skirt, which you can see along the bottom here, which just attaches into the bottom rail of the caravan. And of course, that's going to stop any draft from coming into the awning as well. So we do have a couple of optional extras available for this, which would be the fleece carpet that you can see in this area here, giving you that little bit more comfort underfoot. We also do a footprint uh, that's available to go underneath the ground sheet here. So that's going to be really good if you're on a hard standing pitch, because that will uh, give you much better protection on that ground sheet. Or if you're on a grass pitch, which is wet and muddy, so it will keep this nice and clean and dry. So there you have it then. That's all of the features of the Belize Reef from our Imperial collection. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, this tent can be inflated using our Typhoon 12 volt compressor pump.